Hi everyone, welcome to Play Hooky with me. My name is Roz. I hope everyone's doing great today. Well, as you can see, I'm still working on my uh, corner to corner cowl and I thought it would be a good time to show you a couple of tips for carrying color. Now, I'm still learning as I go, but I wanted to show you this because I have an issue that I didn't really notice until I was recording the previous video on my five tips for beginners doing C to C. If you look here, you can clearly see where the white was obvious. This is where I was doing the carrying method and I was doing everything that I was supposed to. I was giving enough give, you know, just making sure that I wasn't pulling too tight and somehow this still happened. So I'm realizing that no matter what I do, this is going to be an issue for me. So I played around with this a little bit because I really do want to try to incorporate carrying color because there are times where it does save a lot of time and snipping, etc. And this is when the slip stitch was born. Now I've been able to use it in a couple of scenarios, whether I'm going up or down, and I wanted to just take a moment here to show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, let me show you what would work. Uh, just as we're doing the carrying, just in case you're curious. Let's say, for example, I don't need to, but if I did, if I needed to carry this uh, charcoal color down here and start my blocks down here, I could step it down like this and use it, okay? And it wouldn't be any problem because any of the lines within the blocks next to the white would be camouflaged by the, by the charcoal. But let's say on the other way, we want to do one block of charcoal here and carry the white. Now we're going to have an issue and I'm going to show you what happens to me. For this example, I really do need to uh, bring in black for the eye and then I'm going to continue on with the white. Now I do start from behind. I showed you that in my previous video. And what I want to do is I want to make sure to carry this white up because I'm only doing one block of black and then I'm going to continue with this white. So I'm going to carry this. I'm going to just make sure to yarn over uh, the white as I go. And I need to chain three. And here we go. We have our eye ready. We're ready to move to the white again. And so what I want to do is just pull it up and use, right? So this should be fine because we have white and white next to each other. Okay, so there's our eye. This frustrates me. And even if I had gone very loose with this, I still would have had the same issue. And I'm working quickly and I don't catch this. So this is what I wanna show you that helps me so much. Okay, so I'm ready to continue on with my white. And like you saw, I carried it. But instead of going straight into the slip stitch, I'm going to just move this over a little bit and actually take my white and slip stitch into the side. Okay. Slip stitch, slip stitch. Let me leave it there. And now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to actually Pull that through because I like to work from behind. I'm going to do it like that and then continue on. One, two, three, and build my block. Now let's look at that again. This time you do not get that white band that I got before because it is actually slip stitched into the side here. And by the way, if you 
If you notice, I went from behind. That is because it's from my tip from my previous video about getting rid of the spike that can be shown. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, it's the same difference if you uh, slip stitched into the top as, we, as normal. You would still not see that spike or, or that carry in the back. Let me just show you that as well. You see, it's still good. Either way you go. So as always, thank you for playing hooky with me. I hope to see you here again soon. And take care and uh, talk to you later. Bye.